This is what millions of Nigerians go through each day. Coming home and having to switch on a generator just for their basic needs is the norm. The current president, good luck Jonathan, says providing steady electricity for the people is one of his main priorities. But he may have to pull off a big miracle in a short while if he hopes to change millions of minds who up till now are used to hearing big promises but seeing very little or no progress at all. Good afternoon and welcome to City International News. I'm Julie Stewart-Binks. And I'm Lamide Akintobi. Our program today is called Generation Y. Recent statistics have shown that in the developed world, people under 30, known as Generation Y, make up the first generation in a century to expect a lower standard of living compared to their parents. Welcome back. You're still watching Nigeria Decides on TV Continental, giving you election coverage from around the country for as long as we have to, to make sure you keep informed. Now, uh, we still have our analysts in the studio, of course, with me. But before we go back to our discussions, uh, we want to take you now live to the INEC office here in Lagos State, in Yaba, to be exact, to see what's going on there at the moment. Well, it's a quiet day out here and a quiet neighborhood, in fact, as everyone is eagerly awaiting the arrival of Senator Musili Obanikoro, who will soon be setting out today to cast his own vote for the governorship elections. After the long wait, a convoy of cars and heavily armed policemen signaled his arrival at about 11.15 a.m. When the initial flurry of activity died down, a visibly annoyed Senator Obanikoro briefed the press on reports he'd received about several alleged incidences of rigging at the polls in Lagos. Governorship candidates from several political parties in Lagos State are calling for the immediate cancellation of the elections which took place yesterday. A tense mood quickly gave way to a hastily arranged press conference where some aggrieved governorship candidates joined forces to complain about the electoral process. There is nothing personal in what we are doing here. We are just trying to ensure that there is a free and fair election in Lagos State. I'm not drowning, I'm standing firm. Standing firm on principle and justice. It's unclear at this point what exactly will happen in the coming days. But what is clear is that this group of former competitors will cast aside their conflict to make sure their voices are heard. Lamide Akinto will be reporting for Channel's Television News. Standing here this morning at the Tafawa Balewa Square venue of the inauguration of the soon-to-be governor, the air is heavy with expectancy and excitement as Lagosians gather to witness this historic event. Good afternoon, welcome to the Midday News. I'm Lamide Akintobi. A bomb has exploded at the campaign headquarters of one of the House of Representatives aspirants in Asaba, the Delta State capital. Our correspondent. Welcome back. You're watching the Midday News on Channel Television and we're broadcasting from the South of the Business News with Lamide Akintobi. Lamide. Thanks so much, Professor. Good afternoon, welcome to Business News. First up is Company News. And we're looking at Q6 PLC, which is listed on the second tier security subsector of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Good evening. Thank you for joining me today on Business Incorporated this Wednesday, October the 3rd, 2007. I'm Lamide Akintobi. Tonight on the program, the usual look at business activities, earnings reports, and our discussion segment. Today, we'll be looking at Nigeria's economy at the grand old age of 47. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Business Morning. I'm Lamide Akintori. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, today, our theme of the day is going to be the bond market. We're going to be talking about the why, the wherefore. Which are, so for, for a layman's definition, what is, what is the bond market? What is, what is it all about? Well, the bond market is gives um, an issue of the ability to tap into a wider pool of investors. 
it looks like it's time to say adieu for this edition of the program. Thank you for staying tuned. Next week, we'll have another edition for you. I'm Lamidi Akintovi. Have a good night. Mm -hmm.